Hi, everyone. My name is John DePietro. And I'm Bob Zagami with the Camper Report Show. And on this Camper Report Show, black is the color of the day because we are going to preview the brand new Midnight Cougar. How about you, Bob? It's a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. I've got a human being. I've got Bob Martin, president and CEO of Thor Industries, the world's largest RV manufacturer. We caught up to him for a very casual, informal conversation at the Tampa Super Show. And uh, interestingly, the Cougar is one of Bob Martin's uh, brand new projects. You're right. It's a Thor kind of day. Yep. Or a Keystone kind of day, depending upon who you're... Uh who you're talking to. But um, we've got all the news of the week as well. Where do we get our news, Mr. Zagami? RV Business, courtesy of Rick Kessler and Woodall's Campground Magazine, courtesy of Ben Quiggle. Couldn't do it without them. The news plus those stories coming up right here. Where, Bob? On the Camp Report Show. Stay with us, everyone. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the news segment of the Camp Report Show. My name is John DiPietro. That gentleman is Bob Zagami. And Bob, uh, you know, they say the sun will come out tomorrow. Remember that Annie song, the sun will come out right. tomorrow. But before it comes out tomorrow, um, there's a big eclipse coming up on April 8th. And um, our friends at the RV Industry Association have said that it's much cheaper to view this eclipse once in a lifetime, I, I believe, with a yeah. um, RV vacation than a hotel and, and car vacation, right? Yeah, the, the numbers are getting striking. You know, we've always thought that it was less expensive. Not thought, but we had the numbers that say it was less expensive. But unless somebody's been hiding under a rock, pro, post-COVID, the hotel costs and the airline costs are out of, out of sight, uh, no yep. matter where you want to go, no matter when you want to go. So the difference is even more striking this year in terms of that. And and where else wouldn't, why wouldn't you want to see an eclipse outside? Right. It gets kind of difficult looking at it, you know, out of an airplane window or uh, in a hotel room. So right. it's logical right. and, and it's proven that way. The campgrounds all across the country in the path of this eclipse are getting record bookings. But right. some of the savings that they had were were amazing. I mean, 39%, 49%, depending on the family of four and a travel trailer. The the cost, the average price of airfare is five hundred and eighty-seven dollars per person. And I've been flying lately and, and it, it's that and, and more. I've paid double that for some prices. And the average hotel rate is two thirty-eight. Uh, and that right. that's high for an average when you take in all the motel sixes and uh, you know red roof inns out there. Two hundred thirty eight's a lot of money. So yeah. you know what? And and I've read that there are over five thousand campgrounds that are in the path of the eclipse that goes basically from southwest in Texas all the way up to Maine. And right. uh, you know what? What better way? to really experience uh, something like that. And it's in April. So even if you're in the Northeast, you're not in a winter scenario. So um, pretty cool. If you want oh, no, the as the industry said, it's uh, a lot more affordable to experience it with the family and friends in an RV. This yep. is, this is the year to do it. Absolutely. Yep. yep. And you may want to do it in an Airstream and you may have purchased that Airstream at a blue compass store and, Blue Compass, the retailer, has just been recognized by Airstream, the manufacturer, with this five rivet award. I mean, that must be like five star or um, like a five star movie, hotel, right? Yeah. Like a five star hotel, and and they continue to set records. You know, Blue Com Compass sets records with their Airstream dealerships. They have nine Airstream dealerships, seven of which received the five rivet award. And and that is the best for sales and uh, exceptional service, the highest standards that you can get. And you talk about an Airstream, which is a premium product, and the uh, Blue Compass stores in Austin, Tampa, Albany, Des Moines, Gainesville, Greensboro, South Carolina were recognized. Uh, so nine out of the seven, and they have been named the number one Airstream dealer in the world for four consecutive years. And their flagship motorhome specialist store 
has been the leading micro, micro motorhome dealer in the U.S. for the 10 consecutive years. Yep. And that's Blue cool. Compass RV, and they're on a roll. They, they just last year they rebranded the stores. So a lot of their airstream stores are standalone, beautiful facilities, like you like a, like you would expect to see with a luxury yep. car. Yeah, I know. There's that what down in Tampa that uh, we yep. saw. Recently. And they continue to invest in their I, airstream relationship. Yep, an I four. So. Um, yep. And I'm sure that you'll see Blue Compass at many of the RV shows around the country and the news from the RV shows starting in Tampa and going to Quartzsite and going to Boston and going to Detroit are these are great buying shows. Now, let's be very important. Uh, let's be very specific here. Some of the attendance figures are not the same as they were in prior years, but it seems is though that the buyers attending these shows are more prepared and more have a more sense of urgency than ever before to buy at a show. And um, so many of the dealers we've talked to have said, these buyers are ready. Yeah, it, it's a great start to the year. Uh, even, you know, it, I don't like to look at total numbers of who goes through the show. I like to look at how many people bought units at the show. Now, we don't get those exact figures from the dealers, but they certainly tell you when they're having a great year. Yep. And at all those shows, that you, <clears throat> sales are up and people are ready to buy. They're coming with their documentation. They're coming with their trade-ins. And a lot of that is being generated by the people who bought during COVID in 2021-22 that are now ready to trade. They've decided... Even if they were part of that 50% that were new first time buy it, they yep. decided they like the lifestyle and now they want to change up on the trailer or the motorhome to get something more to the liking now that they know what they like. And at, at the time that they purchased, they may not have been able to get that particular product no, due they to had supply to, and demand. They had to buy what was available, not necessarily which was suited to their specific needs. But like you say, now that they know what the RV lifestyle is, they can say, you know what, we might not need something this big, or we need something bigger, or you know what, now the kids are bigger, let's look at bunk beds instead of, um, you know, having the kids, um, you know, sleeping on the couch. Well, I, I, I'm not sure I'd call it a buying frenzy, but it was certainly a high level of activity. I mean, this this goes back to what we used to see 10 years ago, John, where people were standing in line to get the next available sales rep. And families are saying, well, I, I think I want this one with the bunk beds or this one, you know, with the uh, the two two beds on the end. Or I want a fifth wheel versus a motorhome. So they, they were very active. They knew what yep. they were looking for. They, they positioned themselves in the lifestyle as to what they want. And traffic was having, you know, one of the things you and I discussed when we were at the Boston show is when you were inside the building and you looked outside, Inside, you would have thought it was 10 years ago. Outside, despite the fact that we have a, an election year, we have all kinds of you know issues with immigration, with a high cost of gasoline, inflation, foreign wars. There's a lot of uncertainty that in a typical year would slow down sales. But I think that the public has come to a point where they said, let's do it. I'm going camping. Yeah, yep. exactly. You go back to your let's camping. do it tour in 22. Yep. You know, if we don't do it now, when are we going to do it? If we don't enjoy some of this stuff, let's, you know, let's just do it. And and yep. that, I think, is driving a lot and fueling yep. a lot of this. And another it, thing that we know, you, you and I both noticed when we were in Boston for that show is prior to the show opening, people were lined up. I mean, 100 people deep lined up with their tickets already purchased online, okay? And when you purchase a ticket online for an event in New England in the winter, you always have to worry about weather being a factor. But the fact that the tickets, the online ticket line, online purchase line was much, much longer than the buy your tickets here line says that these people were intent on coming to the show. I mean, they showed well, up for good money in advance. Yes, and I think the RV industry, the RV consumer, is getting much more comfortable with buying tickets online. When we started doing it around the country four or five years ago, uh, it was tentative. But we've seen an increase oh, every year. We saw drastic, a larger than normal increase, drastic increase. The Boston, to make on the Boston show this year. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, they, 
they used to it for reservations at a restaurant. They used to it for concerts. So it's a, it's a natural thing now, and that that bodes well because that shows an early intent, and the other end of it comes along behind that. The people who decide to go the day of the show, depending on the weather or whatever. Okay. There we go. Uh, Bob, I just noticed one more thing. You've got a Jayco trailer behind you. So this is like a salute to, to Thor. Yeah, I, 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 I looked at that too. When I, when I looked at <laughs> well, we uh, Thor okay. Jayco there too. This is the Camp Report Show. Stay with us. We've got much more coming up. Bob Tagami here with Bob Martin, President and CEO of Thor Industries. And we happen to get in front of the Jayco display today. We're at the Tampa, well, the Florida RV Super Show, yep. to get the correct name. Bob, this is always one of those shows that is the earmark of how we think this season is going to go. And I know it's only the second day, but what do you get? Yeah, really, I mean, yesterday was manufactured today. Uh, today is the RV or a retail day and it's it's incredibly busy i mean i was a little worried coming in because it's a little chillier down here <laughs> but the sun's out and people have come out uh the lines were long getting in uh lines are long for concessions and, and people are out buying already yeah you know you don't expect 41 degrees when you roll out of bed in tampa florida you don't <laughs> <laughs> but but you're right and the, and there it's universal in terms of this demographics we've got people with baby carriages we've got the retired the mature people we've got young influences this this is one of the great things about this particular show right yeah this thing i, I we laugh during the week we usually see a lot of dogs and strollers <laughs> yeah they are. uh in the weekend you get baby carriages for, for the, the you know jayco stick and tin models and some of the more affordable you know but this week also you got you got people in scooters the rascals yeah. You know, just so you get everything here. <laughs> so it's a great the melting pot for our industry. And all of our companies are excited to have huge displays here. And uh, we're, we're excited to be here. And it looks like the weather's going to hold out through the weekend. Yep. So it should be a great show. Yep. And the sun finally came up. And it, it may actually be up to 60 degrees right now. Close. What do you think uh, in terms of the products that you brought to the show? Uh, is there anything in particular that's uniquely different that people are going to be walking to? Uh, I mean, uh, Already so far, it's been a lot of the entry-level uh, travel trailers. Mm -hmm. So the families are coming back. Uh, you know, there are a lot of the big high-end motorhome rallies. So the Tiffins, the Integras, uh, they're they're having some of their rallies here, and their their customers come out in droves. Um, so you really see the full spectrum here. And so for me, I, I'm just starting my first round. So you caught me on my first round. So I'm going to see some of the new things that uh, I haven't even seen yet. So, but everywhere you go. There's a lot of RVs and there's a lot to see. Well, you know, one of the things, and I haven't been over there yet because it's been so busy, but I'm sure you're going to head that way, is the Tiffin display, which has the unique, the Bob, tell, tell us, it, I know it's the Bob Tiffin special unit. Yep. You're only making 82. Yep. What's the story behind it? It's, it's the, a limited edition, Bob Tiffin. Bob designed it and Bob's 82 years old. And so for a Tiffin a customer to be able to buy a Bob Tiffin numbered unit is very unique. Something they never, they've never done. It's very common that Bob signs the backs of the doors of the cabinets. Yep. But this was, you know, an idea that they had that I thought it was great. Um, and it's just going to be, there's just 82 of them. So you got to put your name in quick if you want one. But the other thing that impressed us, we went to the Keystone Lippert. ABS to talk about the importance of that ABS. I, I thought that was an amazing event, number one. I did have one disappointment though. What was that? They wouldn't let me drive well, the truck. I know. Yeah, it's the insurer. Know. It's the yeah, insurer. Yeah, yeah. But, but well, but, they, they won't let me drive it either. Well, then I sh <laughs> then I feel then I feel much better. <laughs> All right, talk about that. Why it's so important for the industry? Yeah, it's, it's a great feature, just like ABS brakes for cars. Yep. Um, you know, same safety features. Uh, they, so you're not locking up the, the brakes on a, a travel trailer fifth wheel 
It just helps slow in a controlled manner. So it's, it's just like your car. So it's a great uh, innovation, something great coming into the industry. It, it's, it's, it's brilliant in terms of what it, and you're right. I, I think the people take it on the cars for granted. I don't think they realize the difference between ABS on a car and ABS on a, a, a truck towing a towable or a big fifth wheel and that old proverbial, well, you're going down 70 miles yeah. an hour yeah. and the deer jumps in front of you. We've all heard the horror stories of that. Yeah. No more. No yeah. more. Well, I mean, just, you, you can turn the trailer gain up too much and you lock your brakes up, and so this will help in many ways. Yeah. All right. Anything else that you think we should look at? No, just as you go through, I know there's some great things on the Keystone display. Uh, you know, a lot of new motorhomes coming out for, uh, you know, Thor Motor Coach, Jayco. Just anywhere you turn, we've got something new here and uh, something exciting for the customers. Just a, You never know what's going to create a sale here in Tampa. Someone sees one little feature inside a coach and they get excited. Next thing you know, they're trading up. Yep. So that, yep. that's the goal of our industry. Well, it is. It's fantastic. And here we are in 2024 and this is the start of the season. I like what I see. So do I. It's busy. That's what I like. Thank you. Bob, thanks very much. Yeah, good to see you. No reason to wait till the midnight hour anymore. No. Because the midnight edition is here. Our friend Scott Taylor is from Keystone, and Scott's going to tell us all about it. Uh, more specifically, Scott, the the Cougar division. That's right. That's of exactly Keystone. right. That's and, right. And um, you know what? This just kind of sticks out from this entire display of RVs. Tell us a little bit about the Midnight Edition. Yeah, well first off, I'm gonna when I take you inside, I'm gonna show you a brand new floor plan this year that is a king bed slide just over 30 foot, which you just don't find that in the industry. So that's brand new for this year. But so is this Midnight Edition. Uh, this is something that uh, we, we wanted to give a shot. We had some requests for some full body paint and we decided to, you know what? What do we have to lose? And I think we absolutely knocked it out of the park. So, boy, um, the the industry has a trend. You know, our normal Cougars are they are tried and true. Uh, it is a very timeless uh, exterior in our normal Cougars, but an automotive look is becoming pretty popular. And you don't get much more automotive than this uh, right, with that this black full, on black. Yeah. That's right. We've got two different colors. So this is the black onyx. We also have a phantom gray, which uh, just came out of the paint shop today. It's unbelievable as well. Wow. Amazing. So, yeah. look, I think you got passed through storage here. Yeah. I, so we got, of course, uh, full pass through storage. We are in our full size lineup as well. Yep. So this is our built tough Cougar pass through storage with our awesome flooring here. Same flooring that you're going to see in toy haulers, uh, which is just incredibly durable. Coming around, Goodyear tires. That's kind of a must. Goodyear tire. That's I know it's Woo! a must. And new for this year, anytime you see that red drum right there, that painted red drum, that means it's got the Lippert ABS. ABS is becoming standard on all uh, on oh, all Lippert Cougars. Logo. Yeah, right there. So that is going to be standard on all Cougars going forward here real soon. Okay. Awesome little pullout kitchen with the griddle. You've got a little outside shower here as well for hot and cold water. If you're, maybe you're doing a you need a pot uh, of hot water, boiling yep. water, what have you, and an awesome little refrigerator too. And John, this is actually on one of our inverted outlets. Ah, okay. okay. Now, one thing that you can't really see here because of the black is you do have windows. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. those look like new windows. They're the... Uh... They're frameless windows and it just, it, along with the, the glass entry door, John, it just gives this a, a full exterior, just an unbelievable, like I said before, an automotive look. Uh, now, okay. a couple of the things that comes standard on this midnight edition so two acs you're gonna have the solar flex discover which is our oh, 440. See that. see that right up there yep our 440 watts uh solar panels 2000 watt inverter and seven outlets in this trailer are inverted ready to go we don't even need to be hooked up we can run all of our 12 volt uh, systems right off that uh, uh that inverter as well oh and by the way also part of that midnight edition two 100 amp hour lithium dragonfly batteries as well okay so we're going to go inside in another segment, but we just want to let our audience see this. I mean, you got even got the black on it. 
There we go. What do we call it again? This Scott? is our midnight edition. This is the black onyx color, and we also have the phantom gray. Okay. It, it looks. Uh...